Hello, it's your boy Nicovelli on Nicovelli TV. Make sure you like and subscribe at the end of this video. Now I'm here to talk about how Nicovelli met basketball legend Earl the Pearl Monroe, y'all. That's right. Now it all started when I was interviewing people in Harlem and I came across an individual who told me Earl the Pearl's location. Now I ain't gonna mention his name. Maybe I'll do a, a giveaway later on in the future and I might ask y'all who gave Nicovelli the whereabouts, Earl the Pearl. So when he told me where he lived at, I said, you know what? Nicovelli got to go out there and meet this man. Nicovelli did just that, y'all. So Nicovelli goes out to the area, but I don't see no signs, and I wasn't sure that this was the exact spot I needed to be. So I asked a man who was working in a bodega. I wanted to see, you know, whether or not this was the correct man. Or was it, you know, does Earl the Pearl live here? So when I asked him, I said, excuse me, does Earl the Pearl, the basketball legend, live around the area? He just looked at me and laughed. He didn't say nothing. He's like, why you want to know? I said, I just needed to know, do he live here? He said, why you want to know? So I see he was getting a little arable, so I just came out and said, look, I got a basketball channel. I got Joe Heyman on here, Marion Cash, a.k.a. 40-something. You know, I'm naming names and I'm showing them. He said, man, why you just didn't say so? He said, yeah, he live here. He said, you see that crossing guard right there? I said, yeah. Well, she's standing right in the middle of the street, right in front of his building. Why don't you ask her what you just asked me? So I go to her. I explain to her what I'm doing. Does he live here? And she said, yeah, he lives here. Yeah, he do. But there's no sign of Earl of Pearl. As I went in front of the building and camped out, I was there from 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Next thing you know, it's 12 o'clock, no sign of Earl the Pearl. So Nicovelli got discouraged and he left and went home. But I said, you know what? I'm determined. I got to have this man on my channel. So Nicovelli went back out there the following day, y'all. I believe it was on a Tuesday. And I said, this time I'm going to do it different. I'm going to ask people around the community when and where what time Earl the Pearl comes out. So I got a little more info than I did before. So, lo and behold, again, y'all, 6 a.m. I'm out there, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., and I see somebody come out the building. So I ran. I said, Earl the Pearl? And he looks at me and laughs. He said, no, I'm not Earl the Pearl Monroe, man, but you in the right spot. He lives in this building. If you stay here, he'll come out. I said, but what time, though? He said, that I don't know. I can't tell you the actual time. But he'll be out. So I said, okay, I'm in the right spot. And I knew I was in the right spot. Because if you look at the sidewalk, you look at the cars that was being parked, I saw Bentleys, Benz. So I said, yeah, I'm on the side. You know, because where Nick Velli lives out, I'm going to keep it funky. You see Toyotas, <laughs> Chevrolets, station wagons. So I know I was in a prestige area, y'all. Yeah, I know I was in the right area. I just have to get my eyes on Black Jesus. So like I'm saying, hours is going by. I'm, I'm camping out and I'm getting worried because people's coming out the building. They don't know me. They see an unusual face and I look like a stalker. And I'm not trying to stalk. What I'm really trying to do is impress y'all and give y'all some great content with some great legendary people, you know? So as I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting, no sign of Earl the Pearl. So I'm saying to myself, you know what? This ain't good, man. I don't think I'm going to meet this man. So let me just do my video about Trey Burke, Emmanuel Moutier, and Frank Delaquina battling it out for the point guard position. So that's what I did. So Nick Velli does the video, and when I'm done, lo and behold, who do I see come out the building? No other than Earl the Pearl, y'all, a.k.a. Black Jesus. So I'm saying to myself, oh, shit, there he is right there. So, you know, Nick Velli got to make this happen. I got to get him on my channel, y'all. So I want to say something that's going to, Butter him up. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting extra butter on the toast, y'all. This got to be good. So I'm like, Black Jesus. And 
Dota Pro looks at me with a grin on his face. And I said, yo, it's an honor meeting you. My name is Nick Avelli. I have a basketball channel and I would love to have you on it. So Earl Pearl looks at me and said, well, right now I'm kind of busy. But if you be here when I get back, then, you know, I don't mind doing something for you. So I said, well, how long would that be? When will you be back? He said, I don't know. Now, this is Earl the Pearl, man. This man could travel the world. <laughs> Snap of a dime, man. Huh? And what I look like? Nicovelli asking Earl the Pearl when he going to be back home. So I said, man, I got to think of something quick, man. So I said, can I get you on here right now? Just, just real quick. Just do a quick drop. So he says to me, okay, but can I have my friends join in on me? Now, who's Nicovelli to say, no, you can't have your friends on my channel? Although I wanted Earl the Pearl to speak. If that man said he wanted his cat, his dog, whoever, Moses could have been with Jesus. I would have said, sure, you could be on with me. So, you know, I take out my phone and whatnot. And I'm like, you ready? He said, yeah, you better hurry up. 